What's up guys? So I've been doing uh, quite a bit of 3D printing lately and I just wanted to do a quick video to show you some of the upgrades and things I've done to the Ender 3 V2. Um, some of the upgrades I've done are the springs for the bed, to show you those there. They're the, um, the orange springs, they're super cheap on Amazon. They come in a package like this, you can see I got the original springs in there. It comes in like an 8 pack of springs, um, I'll link them in the video description. 8 pack, I'm not sure, they're super cheap and they're uh, a big improvement to bed leveling. Um, yeah, I've, I haven't had to level the bed nearly as much. What, once you get it set where you like it, it's uh, it's a lot easier. It stays there a lot uh, stays there a lot longer, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, the other thing I've done is the PTFE tube or the Bowden tube here. Um, that's from uh, TH3D. It's uh, their tough tube, PTFE, I believe it's called. I forget the name of it. Uh, again, everything I talk about will be in the uh, description. It's super easy to um, to install. Uh, they got lots of uh, video guides online that are super easy to follow. And the next thing is the extruder there. Um, that's a TH3D. Um, it's an all aluminum. Kind of hard to get it in focus there and in, uh, in shot there. It's an all aluminum um, extruder, and it um, the stock one was working just fine, but they'll end up uh, breaking and uh, giving out. I've read a lot of reviews, and the metal ones are just, uh, they got better teeth, and uh, yeah, the, the metal ones or the aluminum ones just work a lot better. Um, you can see here, sorry, a shaky camera I'm holding here. I upgraded the fittings as well, too. Um, if you're going to upgrade the PTFE tube and the extruder, um, you might as well do the fittings as well, too. They're uh, they're super cheap, and uh, it's a you know a good improvement to keep your Bowden tube from slipping at all, too. Um, some of the other things that I've tried too is I wanted to go with uh, a BL Touch, which is an auto bed leveler. Um, I tried that here. I have it right here. Um, I tried it out for a little bit. That's the official one from Creality. Um, yeah, the Ender 3 V2 or the BL Touch for the Ender 3 V2. Um, if you're going to go with that, you need to find software or excuse me, firmware that's not from Creality. Um, the firmware that's on the Creality website sucks. It, uh, the BL Touch would work. I got it working perfectly. It would auto bed level and then randomly it would just uh, crash into the bed. You can see it's ruined my bed actually. You see those marks there on the bed? That's from, there's one line oh, that's covering up with the, uh, the initial first print. But those lines right there are hard um, etched basically from my nozzle. Uh, the BL Touch would just randomly crash into the bed it would work totally fine and then it would uh, start printing and then it would start crashing into the bed so um, I took it off and then I tried to revert back to the original firmware and it basically it didn't brick my uh, printer but it would not boot up properly you're normally supposed to you know put the firmware in there or on your SD card and then turn it on it would not even format um, what I ended up having to do is uh, TH3D, they have their, I don't know if it's Marlin or it's their, I think TH3D is the one that uh, compiled it or they make it, but I use their firmware and it booted up right away and it's got a bunch uh, of better settings in the menu as well too. They've got, they've just done a really good job with their firmware. Um, yeah, it was, it's, it's, the firmware is, it's got more options, the, the options are more clear on what the settings do, I just like it quite a bit more. Um, yeah, it's definitely... It was it was a little hard to uh, to set up the custom firmware. Um, I had to watch quite a few videos. I can do a video on it if somebody's interested in it. But it um, it's definitely an upgrade that I think is uh, is worth it. You got to spend a little bit of time to figure out how to do it. But um, yeah, other than that, um, some things to get though the the extruder was only uh, 14 bucks. The PTFE tough tube was only. Um, I think nine bucks and then the fittings were like nine bucks I don't know I spent like 40 50 bucks for all of it uh, you don't have to do it the printer was printing fine but uh, once you get your settings dialed in nicely um, yeah it worked out great so if you don't mind spending a little bit extra money to get some quality parts they're definitely worth it uh, another thing that was worth getting to is uh, this is uh, it came it's a kit of on um, see if I can open it with one hand I can't open it here. Sorry, one second. It's a kit from uh, off of Amazon, and it's just a bunch of uh, tips and cleaning uh, cleaning utensils. So it comes with 
I don't know, if it had like 40 some tips in it, and they're all the uh, .04, um, the correct nozzle nozzle uh, width or whatever, and then it comes with a bunch of uh, cleaning uh, pokers for your nozzles. Um, there were some reviews on there that said like they're different or they don't fit. Uh, that's not true. Again, I'll link them in the description. Uh, I've printed almost all of this stuff except for, I don't know, this is only just half the things I've printed um, that I just have sitting, sitting here that I want to throw in the video, but um, yeah, they work great. Uh, I don't know if those people just don't know what they're doing or what. Um, I ordered these as well too. I want to, these are uh, for your filament spools. Um, I want to get a different, I don't like the filament up there. Um, it When it jerks sometimes and it spins, it shakes the, uh, the access of the printer and it could throw off the print. I haven't noticed it being an issue yet. I just don't like it. Um, I'd like it to spool from somewhere else, but I just haven't moved it yet. But um, yeah, I've been able to get some pretty good prints too. You can look at some of the things I've got here. Uh, this is just an egg. I made a, 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 a one that's cut in half where you can uh, spin it and uh, it opens. Let's see if I can get the focus here. But I mean, we're getting some pretty good quality. The top could be better, but I mean, this is pretty good quality. This is... Um, this is before I had my settings dialed in. Ignore the paint too, that was my kid painting it. But I mean, this is uh, before I had my settings dialed in. This is pretty good detail for, you know, a stock Ender 3 V2. Um, the Venom plaque, this thing's pretty sweet too. Uh, these little Among Us guys turned out pretty good too. This was at uh, 0.12 layer height. And no sanding or anything, I just painted the... the um, the black rim that was it everything else is completely right off the printer um, the Fortnite stand uh, this was red my kid painted it but I mean it turned out really good yeah you can't see the lines because it's all painted um, here's some little dudes that I we're working on for my kid they're little among us dudes uh, I've already sanded these down just a little bit uh, I bought a um, is it focusing good sorry if it's not um, I bought a, uh, a sanding pad just at the hardware store and with barely any effort, uh, you can erase the erase the um, the lines. You could lower your layer height, I guess, if you wanted to, and it would print um, without lines. Uh, right now, I'm working on this uh, Game of Thrones dragon. It's printing a wing right now, but this is the body. I haven't cleaned this up at all, too. This is exactly how it came off the printer. Um, if, if you're interested in my uh, Kira settings, I would be gladly uh, happy to make a video on them. But uh, it's got a little bit of stringing on there. I'm gonna take a heat gun to it here uh, once I'm done and uh, clean up the, the little bit of stringing. This is the tail. Right now I'm working on one of the wings. But uh, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you the upgrades that I've done to this thing. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about uh, the Ender 3 V2. And uh, yeah, it's been a great printer, man, for 280 bucks or whatever the heck it was. And then I've got probably 40, 50 bucks in up upgrades. Um, it's definitely, uh, definitely printing pretty good. So again, extruder, uh, TH3D extruder, 14 bucks. The PTFE, that's your Bowden tube, which is just a. Um, the reason you want to upgrade that, if somebody was curious, is it's got a smaller diameter. It's uh, it takes, from my understanding, it's it's more heat resistant as well too. So you can print at higher temperatures, and it also has a, a smaller. Uh, diameter so the filament uh, fits better in there for retraction so when you you know when it retracts and pushes back it doesn't jerk around or move a lot and then the other uh, huge upgrade that I well it's not really an upgrade but it's a quality of life upgrade is the TH3D um, they're unified or whatever the heck it's called their firmware it's uh, definitely worth doing um, BL touch piece of trash in my opinion I don't know if it was the firmware or what they had killer reviews, but um, the firmware for the TH3D, the firmware that I have, they have an option for their Easy ABL that you literally just uh, turn it on. You know, you uncomment one of the lines, and it activates uh, the, the firmware for that. So if you're gonna go with, um, if you're gonna go with an, uh, a bed leveler, an auto bed leveler, I'd recommend that. But anyways, um, sorry for the shaky camera movements. I just wanted to do this video and show you guys what I got going on. Um, if you're interested in my Kira settings for, um, this is all PLA by the way, just regular PLA. I've been printing TPU as well. I can show you some of that over here. Sorry if it gets darker. Um, quite a few different GoPro mounts and whatnot. Yeah, it's, I've got it 
exposed from my lights over here. Sorry about that. But anyways, if you'd like to see my Cura settings, uh, let me know. I can do a video on those. Or if anybody has any questions on the upgrades or anything at all about the Ender 3 V2. Um, I've been loving this thing. It's a lot of fun. And uh, just trying to fine tune it the most I can to uh, get the highest quality prints. It's been a lot of fun. So anyways, guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you can. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, content like this about 3D printing or uh, FPV. That's mainly what this channel is about, but we also do 3D printing as well. So have a good day, guys. Thanks. Bye.